Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to another episode of Teen Titans, episode number 5 of season 3 and I've been reading a lot of the comments from the last episode's reaction and from my understanding a lot of you are excited for this episode, some calling it your favourite episode so that makes me excited because you know, I know that um, whenever you know the majority of the comments are saying i can't wait to see the next episode that typically means a good thing well it can mean either a good thing or a bad thing because you know in a show like teen titans it means it's going to be a really good episode in any other show that might be a little bit more dark it could mean that there's going to be a big character death and everyone wants to see how it upsets the reactor but you know in this i get the feeling that this is going to be like a really well written deep story um so, you know, the opening of this season, it's been a little bit here, a little bit there. We've had some, you know, different episodes. You know, the last episode focused again on the virus that infected um, Cyborg. You know, we were seeing a lot of Beast Boy, um, you know, sort of trying to fix his own mistake because he was the one who got him infected in the first place uh, by trying to download games illegally from, you know, a foreign country. And I don't know if the message was, you know, don't pirate games, but it was also like, don't don't disable your antivirus, don't go and download it from untrusted sources, you know? So that was my kind of, you know, take from, from that element of it. Um, but it's been an interesting one so far. No real theme of, like, a big bad guy, you know? I know that we were kind of introduced to the new head of Hive, the, the headmaster, I think he was called. But we've not seen him again. He's not really shown up. He's not really been mentioned. So, you know, whereas in other seasons we've had kind of an underflowing theme of like a villain trying to get the Teen Titans, you know, and it culminating at the end. You know, considering that, you know, this season, I mean, how many episodes is it? I don't I don't even know. Um, it's probably similarly like 13, 14 episodes. You know, we're almost halfway through. So it'll be interesting to see how they build up the rest of this season. Um, but we're going to jump in. Before we do, I do want to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon super supporters. Um, again, our newest Patreon super supporter, Demiurge, Ernesto Sanchez Jr., Frank Tremel, Geraldine Camoyne, Karen Abel, Nightwing0102, Marshall Red, Michael Y, Mr. Greg89, Nick Walters, and Nightwolf37. So, without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens. He's got work to do. He's just monitoring the sea. Well, whatever you're looking for is probably asleep, like you should be. Which which one is this? Which like Robin is this? I forget. Good night. I don't think it's Tim Drake. Obviously, we've learned a lot about Tim Drake in the last week. Ooh, Slade's mask. Left of him. Nothing but dust. We can't be sure. He was never captured. Never found. It's over, Robin. Slade's gone. Mm. Trouble. I didn't think Robin would still be having, you know, issues with Slade in this season. Oh, it's oh. Wait. He's out again? Is it yeah, send a block. Didn't have to destroy the van, you know, that was probably someone's property. Could have just put it down. But you know, I get it. They got this. This is isn't this like the third or fourth time they've had to fight and capture Cinderblock? They know how to beat him. Oh damn. What? I thought that was like a volcano going off. Oh no, is he seeing things? I don't think that's Slade. Yeah. It's all in your head, Robin. I wish he was back, but you know, I don't think he is. Already out of breath. Three of them placed on fault lines all over the city. Oh damn. All the places that he was watching. It will break your city in two. Not if I break you first. Oh 
That was elegance. Again, I'm not certain that this is a real thing. I think this is all in his head. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. We'll worry about how Slade survived later. Man, I can't find Diddley. No signs of anything unusual. Nothing here either. I like how she's using her shadow to keep her dry. They're there. Keep searching. <laughs> oh man, what if he ends up fighting Starfire? Like, what if he visualizes Slade as her? Starfire, stop him! Stop who? Oh god, take your hand off her. Slate ran right by you. I've looked everywhere. I think Slate set us on a <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wild goose chase. Can I please go lie down now? <laughs> Nothing's been used here for a while. Uh oh. You're gonna get yourself killed, Robin! Jesus. That was a close one. Why couldn't Starfire see you? I believe you are familiar with cloaking technology. No. I'm familiar with all your tricks. No. Nope. That's why you're not going to get away with it. Come on, Robin. Come to your senses, man. And why am I still here? Oh dear. You can't beat something that's in your own mind. You have to overcome it. This is going very badly. Kaplow! Whammo! Kablim! He's fighting nothing. God, it's a it's a hero complex. Seriously, thank you, Starfire. Go and tie him down to a bed or something. Thank you. They took my idea very well. Kind of looks like you will feel a thing. You have uncovered the cause of his strange behavior? So far, everything looks normal. But his heart rate is off the charts. Blood pressure, neural kinetics, most people can't survive this kind of stress. Oh, jeez. Did he break out? Did he get off the thing? <gasps> wow. Yeah. And I thought I didn't like going to the doctor. It's going to be impervious to everything. What are you doing? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Yes, it's inside your head. Oh, shit. She's in his head. Slade! Oh shit. I don't know if he's real or not, but he's real to Robin. I can feel him. He's not gonna make it. Then let us end this battle. Now Yeah, go Starfire. Slade, these bruises. But you don't have a scratch. 
Mm. Yeah. He's beginning to believe. Yeah. My friends are right. You aren't real. I'm real enough to finish you. Lights out, Slade. Yeah. Robin! It's okay, Starfire. I'm not crazy anymore. <laughs> he beat himself up in essence. That's this whole episode was Robin beating himself up near to death. Of course, the only person who could nearly kill Robin is Robin. Slade really does ever return, we'll be ready. Mm hmm. We've got things covered here. I hope he does. I like him as a villain. Sounds like a good idea. But at the same time, lava tends to kill people. What is it? The reagent in Slade's mask didn't trigger itself. There was a signal. Somebody triggered it from outside the tower. Could it be Slade? Ooh. So, a nice little tease at the very end there, just to say maybe Slade's not gone. And, and you know, I hope he isn't, because um, I really like Slade as a character, as a villain. He is... I mean, firstly, he's voiced by Ron Perlman. And I, I, I think Ron Perlman is a great actor. He's got a great voice. And, you know, he's well-suited to have that like kind of very soft but threatening tone that Slade has. Um... This it was a very good episode. This one really was. Apologies for for Zuko being so close, um, and you know, obviously it focused a lot on the psychological scars that Robin has had since you know Slade has been gone. Um, I'm very glad that there was an actual physical, you know, like a physiological reason for Robin having this episode. And it wasn't just him going crazy at random. Because, you know, Robin is someone, he's a leader. He's been through a lot. He's got a strong mental character. So it takes a lot to get him into a state where he is essentially hallucinating and beating himself up. Um, Zuko, that's the camera. Please don't touch it. Hey, okay. Thank you. Um, so I am glad that there was an actual... Uh, now he's leaning against the monitor. Zuko, come on. Come on, up you go, up you go. Come on. I can't, I can't get him. I can't get him away from the monitor. Okay, right. There you go. Right, he's on the light now. I'm just going to have to cope with this. Um, So, yes, you know, obviously, um, with there being the dust that was affecting him, that's, that's why, you know, because Robin is... A person of you know a very strong mental fortitude so it takes a lot to get him to that state i mean we saw in season one and two you know when he was at the height of his battles with slade you know how it was affecting him mentally you know he was suffering with this guilt and this this responsibility that he has to take slade down himself um you know and this this was like the culmination of all that the fear of him returning you know and um I thought it was a very well planned out episode. You know, I'm glad that it didn't it didn't take you know his friends at the very end interfering for him to overcome it. He overcame it himself. He realized it was in his mind, you know, because it was what was Robin, you know, essentially um overcoming the issue himself and again proving that mental fortitude. Um but it was a, it was a really good episode, you know. Obviously the premise of it was um a little bit obvious, you know, with with it being sort of slayed all along, being in his head. Um, you know, but they did it in such a way that they kept it entertaining, they kept it like, you know, you, you were sort of partially questioning, hmm, could there be somehow a way this could be slayed? And, you know, they are definitely teasing that, like, you know, maybe Slade was the one who activated it. But again, lava. Lava is deadly. I don't know how he would have survived that. Unless it's someone else, it's another protege he would have had. Um, you know, I'll be interested to see where they go with Slade in the future, if they do go anywhere with him. Because there's only like two and a half seasons to go. And I think they've, I don't think they're going to focus on Slade this season. I think, you know, they're going to focus on um, potentially Hive as it is now and the, the Headmaster maybe. 
Um, but we'll see where it goes. But yeah, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, delving into some of the more psychological issues that can come along with being a superhero. Um, you know, and the haunting sort of past that people have um, and how enemies do leave a mark on you. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you for the next one.